Hello, my name is Claire and I'm a Specialist Oncology Dietitian at the Christie Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you about eating well during your chemotherapy treatment. This will include tips on what to do if you are struggling with eating or losing weight and we will also talk about some food safety advice. Eating well is an important part of everyday life but it is especially important when undergoing treatments for cancer such as chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Your body needs a variety of nutrients from foods, so eating a balanced and varied diet is important to help keep yourself well, help you fight infection, cope with the side effects of your treatment and help in your recovery. If your appetite is good, try and continue to eat three meals a day and include snacks as needed. If your appetite is poor, you may find that eating smaller meals, but more frequently, is better. Your body needs a balance of carbohydrates, protein and fruits and vegetables. Milk and dairy products are all rich in nutrients including protein and calcium. Include regularly in your diet. If you don't eat dairy products, try and include a plant-based calcium fortified alternative and choose one with a higher protein content, for example soya products. Nutritious meals do not have to be hot, home-cooked meals. Try stocking up on a range of nutritious packet or tinned foods. For example, tinned meat, fish, soup, custard or rice pudding for those days when cooking may be too difficult or tiring. There may be times during your treatment when you are struggling to eat. At these times, you may need to change the balance of foods that you are eating or eat more often. This may be short-term or long-term depending on your treatment and overall health. Therefore, you may need to eat more high calorie and high protein foods during this time to support you. Our Eating Help Yourself booklet, which you can obtain from your nurse or online, contains general information and tips on how to support your nutrition and maintain your weight throughout your treatment. If you are losing weight or struggling to eat, it is important to let your doctor, nurse or healthcare professional know. Some people can experience side effects with their chemotherapy, such as loss of appetite, taste changes, feeling fuller than usual, dry or sore mouth, nausea or vomiting, changes in bowel habit and fatigue. Your doctor can prescribe medications to help with some of the side effects. You can also find tips of how to manage your eating around these side effects in our Eating Help Yourself booklet mentioned previously. There are some general food safety recommendations to think about whilst on chemotherapy treatment. Always wash your hands before and after handling any foods. Ensure all knives, utensils and kitchen surfaces are clean before use and cleaned again between use with raw and cooked foods. Food should be stored safely in the fridge. Keep uncooked foods separate from ready to eat food. Store raw meat in a sealed container on the lower shelf. Always observe use by and best before dates. Raw meat needs to be cooked thoroughly and should not be served pink or rare. You should make sure all foods are cooked thoroughly until piping hot throughout. Use eggs with a British Lion stamp. Ensure they are cooked through, served immediately and eaten piping hot. When eating out or having takeaways, choose freshly prepared foods from reputable outlets. Avoid salad bars, street vendors, market stalls and ice cream vans. Certain foods should be avoided, including all shellfish, probiotics such as bio-yogurts or drinks, for example Actimel, Yakult or supermarket owned brands of these, raw eggs, pâté, unpasteurised dairy products which includes mould ripened and blue vein cheeses such as brie, camembert, gorgonzola and roquefort. If you have a food allergy or intolerance, or are following a special diet, it is important that you let your doctor, nurse or healthcare professional know, especially if you are coming into the hospital as a day case or inpatient. If you are taking any dietary supplements or alternative supplements, please let your doctor or nurse know so that we can make sure they don't interfere with your chemotherapy treatment. There are a lot of alternative diets out there on the internet or in the media claiming to help you fight cancer However, there is no scientific evidence to support these. Often these diets can be low in energy and difficult to follow. If you are considering following one of these diets, please discuss it first with your doctor, nurse or dietitian. In summary, try to enjoy your food and eat a varied diet. 
If you experience any difficulties with weight loss, eating or drinking, please see the booklets we discussed earlier and let your doctor or nurse know so that we can give you the support you need at this time. Good nutrition and hydration is important to support you through your treatment and help with your recovery.